In this video, we will look at the process for upgrading the VMware vCenter server appliance version 5.0.x to the 5.1 version. This video is based on VMware Knowledge Base Article 20.33.990. Before starting the upgrade procedure, it is worth noting that the vCenter server appliance versions 5.0.1 and 5.1 use Postgres for the embedded database instead of IBM DB2 which was used in vCenter Server Appliance version 5.0. If you use the embedded database with the vCenter Server Appliance, when you upgrade from 5.0 to 5.1, the embedded IBM DB2 database is migrated to a Postgres database. The configuration state of your existing database is preserved, and the schema is upgraded to be compatible with vCenter Server Appliance 5.1. To upgrade the vCenter Server Appliance, first, deploy the new version of the vCenter server appliance. For more information, see the VMware Knowledge Base article entitled Downloading and Deploying the vCenter Server Appliance, which is available at the following URL. The new appliance has a default network configuration, and the Virtual Center Server service is not configured and is disabled. Connect to both the old and new appliances in separate browser windows. In the new appliance, start the vCenter Server Setup Wizard and accept the End User License Agreement. In the new appliance, in the Configure Options panel, select Upgrade from Previous Version. At this stage, you can configure the vCenter Server appliance to use an external vCenter single sign on instance instead of the default embedded single sign on. But for the purpose of this video demonstration, we will just proceed with the default embedded version. In the new appliance, click Next. In the old appliance, on the Appliance Upgrade tab, select Source for the Appliance role and click Set Role. In the old appliance, click Establish Trust. Over in the new appliance, copy the local appliance key. In the old appliance, paste the local appliance key into the remote appliance key field and click import remote key. In the old appliance, copy the local appliance key. Over in the new appliance, paste the local appliance key into the remote appliance key field and click next. The new appliance shuts down the old appliance and assumes the network identity of the old appliance. If the old appliance was configured to use dynamic addressing, the new appliance will also use dynamic addressing. When the import is complete, the new vCenter server appliance will start. Review the list of hosts managed by the source appliance and make sure that the hosts you want the new appliance to manage are checked. Review the pre-upgrade check of the source appliance hosts and correct any errors before proceeding. Confirm that you have taken a backup or snapshot of the source appliance and the external database, and then click Next to proceed. When the upgrade is complete, click Close. The vCenter server appliance is upgraded and the new appliance reboots. This concludes our look at upgrading the VMware vCenter server appliance version 5.0.x to the 5.1 version. For additional video tutorials, be sure to subscribe to our KBTV YouTube channel and our KBTV blog. Thank you for choosing VMware.